Hi everybody. These are notes to fill in for Math Excel 12.2. They go over the volume of a cylinder. So we're going to use this key to help us. This is your um, state reference sheet. So the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared times the height. So volume is equal to pi r squared times the height. Hopefully you recognize pi r squared as your area of your circle. So this is an area of a circle times the height of them. You can think of a cylinder like a stack of pennies that are all circles here. So if we just knew the area of one of them and times it by the height, then we would be able to figure out the volume. All right, so here's a few examples I printed from Math Excel. In this case, they give us the height, and the height is the distance from circle to circle. So from base to base is how they think of it. So that means this four is the height. Um, this would be our radius. So we're just going to fill in our formula, and notice it says in terms of pi. So we have to keep it exact. So volume equals pi r squared times h. So volume equals pi times the radius is 5. So 5 squared times the height, and the height is 4. All right, since it says in terms of pi, you are going to multiply these numbers on your calculator and then just put a pi on your answer. So 5 squared, you can do it in your calculator if you want or in your head. Um, that's going to end up with 100 pi for your answer. And that's what you would fill in the blank here. And notice it's inches cubed for volume. All right, the next example, it says the diameter of the cylinder is 3 yards. So in this case, all the way across the top is 3 yards. And the height, so draw your little half circle down here, the height is 12 yards. All right, and then find the volume. Okay, so volume is equal to pi times the radius squared times the height. Okay, so hopefully you realize here I need the radius. This 3 is the diameter. So to get the radius, I have to take 3 and cut it in half. So that gives me 1.5 yards for the radius. So 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So my radius is 1.5. So I got volume equals pi times 1.5 squared times our height, and our height is 12. Okay, and now you would leave the pi off and type in 1.5 squared times 12, these numbers here, and that gives you 27. So your answer is 27 pi. All right, that would go in the blank up here. And then last example says find the height if the volume is 5,670 pi cubic centimeters. So this one we're going to be working backwards. Notice our picture, they give us a radius. So we're going to be solving an equation. Volume is equal to pi times radius squared times the height. So, oops, I'm sorry. So in for V, we're putting the volume, 5,670 pi. And then I'm going to follow my formula, bring down my equals and then put a pi. Radius, do we have a radius? Yes, we do, it's nine. So I'm putting nine squared times height, which is h. Okay, so from here, um, you can put them each on Desmos or you can solve by hand. Divide by pi on both sides is what I would do to cancel those out. So you have 5,670 equals now we can simplify 9 squared, type in on your calculator, hopefully you know 9 squared is 81 times h. And then you have to get h by itself, so we divide by 81. So 5,670 divided by 81 gives us 70 for our height. So 70 is centimeters. Okay, email me if you need more help or use the Help Me Solve This.